Hey guys, I'm so tired. I just got done doing hair, hair everywhere. Anyway, I'm hungry as fuck, so I took out the time and I made myself like a quick like um, quesadilla. And I don't know, it, I don't know how it turned into a fajita all of a sudden, but it's just tomatoes, mushrooms, chicken, seasoning. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Like, that's it. I'm trying to make it really quick. And then I made my guacamole with my seasoning and this. Oh, I got to get the cheese out. This cheese is almost done, and I've only had it for like a day or two. <laughs> yeah, I'm so damn hungry. I have to make another one <laughs> on the stove, so I'm just going to finish this one. I didn't even feel like cutting this shit. I'm just going to eat it like a taco, I guess, and just call it a day. Well, I could, I'll cut it. Fuck it. Hey, guys. So I'm over here walking to the grocery store. I don't know what's going on, but, like, my face has broken out so bad. Um, right here, it was all, like crispy and dry and it was black like right here but I just did like a treatment on it kind of and it's probably just temporary it's probably gonna end up crisping up again I don't know a better word than crispy it was like a really dry scaly patch and like it hurt when I smiled I don't know what's going on like my skin is breaking out it's just I think it's this antibiotics that I've been on but also I don't even want to tell you guys what else happened to me I'm just like really unhappy with it but yeah so I text my um hairstylist finally and I just told her well she's not my hairstylist the lady who did my hair I just finally told her that I fucking did not like my hair I was very nice about it but I was just like hey um you know thank you for fitting me in that day it was so last minute um and it was on my side of town and I was like but I just wanted to tell you that I'm really just not happy with my hair um it's sliding down like you there's this huge lump right here that I showed you guys the other day there's a huge lump right there and overall like I'm just like it shouldn't be happening you know and I wasn't like rude about it at all I wish I could show you guys a text message but I'm on the phone right now I mean I just basically let her know like I'm you know whatever so she texted me back and, she, and, and then I told her I was like because I already know her, she gets very defensive over anything. If you tell her any type of criticism, she gets super defensive. Like when I told her, when I asked her, hey, can you add a little bit of hair to my cornrows? Because when she did my sewing, she cornrowed my real hair and stuff. And that just doesn't work for me. So um, I asked her, can you add like a little bit of hair to it? And she got super defensive. She was just like, oh, you know, I've been a hairstylist for blah, blah, blah. Like I told you guys what she was doing. So I'm like, listen. Listen, girl, you can tell me every single day up and down that you've been doing hair for 30 years. Guess what? It doesn't matter when I don't fucking like my hair. It doesn't matter. I, you, can, you can keep telling people that, but they're just going to look at you like you're crazy because you keep on say, saying that. Now you just sound like a broken record. So she texted me back, um, and, I, and, I, and I had just told her that, like, I'm a stylist, so I know that this wasn't done right. Like, what she did to my hair wasn't right, and I already know it. You can argue with me all you want, whatever. She texted me back, and she said, hey, that shouldn't be happening. If your hair is only two weeks old, and um, uh, I can, uh, if it's a problem, we can try to fix it, or something like that, which is cool. And then she was like, um, I mean, she said something about your hair was thin at the front. So I'm just like, okay, a lot of women's hair is thinner at the front, like mine is thinner at the front and she still if your hair is thin you need to add some hair to it don't put something and hang it on to some already thin hair like come on I'm sick of arguing with her about it and I'm just telling her like and, and the thing is that I told you how I want it if you can't do it then don't do my hair okay I don't want to hear nothing about how long you've been doing hair how you're some expert I don't give a fuck because it's not done the way that I don't want it to be done okay so that's number one <laughs> then she sent me another text message saying that we have two very different styles of doing hair, so the way that you do yours is one way, and the way that I do mine is another way. It doesn't mean that the way I did it was wrong. So I texted her back, and I'm just like, look, I'm not about to keep arguing with you, girl. Like, you know, I, I just told her, like, so I, I told her, like, we are very different. Like, it's not about, I didn't say that the way that you do hair in general is just wrong. I said that the way that you did hair for me was wrong and it was and that's just what it is like for me you have to cater 
to each person's head. Everybody's head is not the same. Just like you keep saying, like she, she loves to point out we're not the same. And, I'm, and so then I, I also told her, I said, um, it's cornrowing. Like cornrowing is universal. <laughs> yes, there are different styles to it, but you're literally just cornrowing some hair for a fucking sew-in. It's not fucking rocket science, okay? It was, a, you did three pieces of my hair wrong. You did the front cornrow wrong, the two front cornrows, and the back one, because the back one is completely hanging on by a braid. Y'all have seen these vlogs. I have not been working out. I haven't even been, like, working out, like, super hard or running or walking like I usually do. So, oh, fuck. This road is closed off. Oh, good, okay. Like, this is what it looks like. But yeah, it was just like, so now I'm just waiting for her to test me back. I mean, I'm like, I really hate when people get super defensive about things. It's like, look, stop trying to defend yourself. She's like, this hasn't happened with other people whose hair I've done, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, good for you, but it's happening with me, and I don't like it, so... Okay, I'm at the grocery store right now. I just got here. Ugh, whatever. My hair looks some hot ass mess. But the ATM is not working. I actually came here for the ATM because I need to deposit some money. Like, you know, I did hair today and like I'm very weird about having like cash whenever I do hair because I don't want all that cash in my house like that. So I always try to deposit. They don't have anything there. So now I'm kind of looking for just like a silicone treatment. I'm taking out the sew-in, um, I think, because it's kind of like not really working out for me. But she said this. Anyway, let me tell you guys what she said. I'm looking for a silicone treatment right now. She said that I can take it down and get the basic sew-in, like I did. She'll redo it for me. Or she'll put, give me $50 credit towards another hairstyle. So... I was like, do I really want to go through this with her again? But I will. I will do it again. And hopefully she'll do it correct like I want. So we'll see.